Avatar 2, Jake Sully and Natiri are back. What to expect? Since its release in cinemas all the way back in 2009, Avatar has been out for more than a decade. The science fiction movie directed by James Cameron has since gone on to become the picture with the greatest grossing of all time, despite the fact that it has never had a sequel. Until now. So what exactly happened to Jake, Sam Worthington, the space soldier who, at the conclusion of the first movie, transplanted his mind into the body of a Navi alien. According to producer John Landau's explanation, Jake has subsequently found a permanent home with his Navi mate, Natiri, Zoe Saldana, with whom he has three children of the Navi race, Netayam, Jamie Flatters, Loak, Britton Dalton, and Tuktide, Trinity Bliss. The unexpected element is that they also have an adopted human kid who goes by the name Miles Socorro, and is known as Spider. The Spider was born in a military facility on the planet Pandora, but he was too young to go back to Earth with his parents. Jake is thrilled to have him as a member of his family, but there are some complications. Jake took care of him, but Natiri never stopped thinking of him as a member of the group who had torn down her house and murdered her father, according to what Landau stated. So it seems like there are a lot of different dynamics at play here. If you look at what James Cameron accomplishes in his movies, you'll see that he writes about universal themes that are larger than the subject matter of any one movie's genre. This time around, we're going to center the story on Jake and Natiri since they represent the most common element across all of our characters. That would be the family. Natiri is from the realm of the Navi, whereas Jake is from the world of humans. They are, thus, similar to a current mixed-race couple who are bringing up children who may have the sense that they do not belong in either environment. So keep watching to understand what you can expect. Part of Avatar 2 will take place on Earth. When James Cameron spoke with Denis Villeneuve, director of Dune, for the publication Variety, a number of fascinating tidbits about Avatar 2 were revealed. This time it had to do with the location. Much as Dune is set on several planets, the later Avatars take place in multiple worlds at least two because part of it is placed on Earth as the tale progresses. The events of the first Avatar film took place completely on the planet Pandora, where a firm from Earth was mining for the planet's prized unobtainium. The decision to expand things to Earth will make things more complicated, but considering that we have four movies to complete here, it makes sense. James Cameron discusses the families of Jake and Natiri. At the conclusion of Avatar, the main character, Jake Sully, was ready to start a whole new life. He was going to leave his body on Earth behind and become a Navi body so that he could live with Natiri and the other people who lived in Pandora. In a recent interview, James Cameron said that by the time the sequel is released, the couple's relationship would have advanced significantly. During an interview for a very unique documentary that was produced for Empire 30, which was a 30-minute making of for Avatar and included fresh new interviews and insights, the director divulged some fascinating facts regarding the highly secretive sequel. First and foremost, it takes place a number of years after the events of the first film, which was released in 2009. Jake and Natiri are still together, and they now have a daughter who is eight years old. Cameron described a crucial argument sequence between the feuding parents, which would be filmed from the perspective of their child. This moment will be a part of the emotional roller coaster that Jake will experience in the subsequent episodes. In the Avatar podumentary, James Cameron states, there's a three-page argument sequence between Jake and Natiri, a marriage disagreement, very, very crucial to the plot. In the end, I shot the whole thing from the perspective of the eight-year-old boy who is hiding beneath the structure and peeping in. After working with Sam Worthington on Avatar and going through the experience, I had a better understanding of how to develop the Jake character moving forward through the emotional ups and downs of the subsequent four movies. It has been challenging for him. He was forced to go into some shadowy territory. Cameron also clarified that the claims about the completion of the back-to-back -back shoot are only partially accurate. According to the director, performance capture is the great majority of the characters, and that is the vast majority of the running length of the picture. However, that pesky little live-action component is going to cost me five months of my life, spanning the two movies, the director said. The role of Jake and Natiri's adoptive daughter is played by Sigourney Weaver. In James Cameron's film Avatar, Sigourney Weaver performed the role of Dr. Grace Augustin. Fans were a bit perplexed when it was reported that she would be returning for the Avatar sequels given the destiny that she was given in the first film. 
In the realm of science fiction, everything is conceivable. Nonetheless, the casting of Sigourney Weaver as Jake and Atiri's daughter when she was a teenager in Avatar 2 was not something that was anticipated at all. The first image of Weaver's new character, a young Navi called Kiri, was published in the most recent issue of Empire magazine. According to Sigourney Weaver's comments in an interview, she welcomed the opportunity to channel her inner kid while filming Avatar 2. I believe we all very much recall what we were experiencing when we were teens, Weaver said. It was a really formative time for all of us. When I was 11, I stood between 5'10 and 5'11 tall. I had a strong impression that Kitty would, most of the time, feel uncomfortable. She is trying to figure out who she really is. I was quite ecstatic when Jim presented me with that assignment. The director of Avatar, James Cameron, said that it was a significant acting challenge to have Sigourney Weaver, who is over 60 years old, portray a character who is several decades younger. But Weaver was more than up for the task. Cameron said, She seemed to be in her early 20s. She exuded greater vitality, and she never entirely emerged from Kitty for all of our search for her. She had a smile that lit up her whole face, a bounce in her stride, and an attitude that was full of joy. If you look closely at the picture of Kitty, you'll see that she has five fingers. This indicates that she is a human and Navi hybrid that was created via genetic engineering. She also seems to be gazing at one of Dr. Augustine's video logs, which may be seen as an indication that the two of them are more connected to one another than was first thought. Jake Sully and Natiri Family Avatar The Way of Water takes place 14 years after the events of the first film and follows Jake Sully and Natiri, who have started a family. However, when the Resources Development Administration, RDA, returns to Pandora, the family is forced to flee to the reef in order to survive. The Navi children Netayem, Loak, and Tutiri are a part of Jake and Natiri's family, but they also have Miles Sokoro. The tiny kid, who is also known as Spider, was born at the military installation on Pandora. However, he was too small to go back to Earth at the time, so Jake and Natiri have been raising him instead. The majority of the action in the film will occur underwater. Cameron really had the actors film the motion capture shots inside of a massive water tank so that the underwater environment could be portrayed as authentically as possible. My fellow cast members and crew members inside the production strongly campaigned for us to perform it dry for wet, which included dangling people on cables. The majority of the actors became certified scuba divers and they all worked with experts to hone their free diving skills and increase the amount of time they could remain under without taking a breath. Also, a new Navi community known as the Metkayina will be included in the underwater world. These Navi people make their homes among the reefs that run parallel to the beaches and coasts of Pandora. And that's it! Please let us know in the comments section below whether you plan to watch Avatar 2. Thanks for watching this video. Click the subscribe button and see you in the next video.